Hey guys, uh, my name is Ken. If you've never seen my videos before, I'm sorry for my voice. I think I'm coming down with something a little bit. I think my whole family's got it. But uh, we got to power through because it's Monday morning. And I sold 48 items for a total sales of 2100 and total net of 1640 So um, it's not as impressive as it sounds. I'm running an 80% off sale on probably about half my store. Um, typically, I do that with any items that are probably about 90 days or older. I don't like having things in my store that long. Typically, I move through things um, about every week, usually, is my sell through at least a week. So I'll just skip over those small items because they're literally nothing. It's maybe one or two dollars I'm making on those things. So let's get started. All right. First, we've got this Sony Handycam. I think most of you guys know about these if you're in the reselling world, but if not, Sony Handycam. Um, there are some that do particularly better than others. Um, the high eight, so like your big DV tapes. Um, digital ones do well. Um, they're like tiny tapes, but in general, just look out for Sony and then Handycam right here and then look them up. So I paid 20 bucks for this and got 100 bucks free shipping for it. Next, I got this at a yard sale. I paid 10 bucks for them. Uh, shoulder pads do well, but only uh, during particular times, I believe. So I'm not really sure why these sold. It's late October football season. It's probably about midway through. So maybe somebody lost theirs or they, they got busted. But usually if you can get these in the summer during yard sale season and then they sell before August, you've got a lot of the kids coming in and buying them. But I think this did sell for like 110 bucks or something like that. In general, I would just say look them up. But the more complicated they look, the um, probably the more expensive they are. All right. This is a Thundercat toy from I think 2011 this is. So I paid two bucks for this and it sold for $24 plus shipping I believe. Cosplay like toys, weapons, whatever can do pretty well most of the time so you never know. That's why it pays to look things up. Uh, this is actually part of our Goodwill series, but I paid $6 for this and sold it for, um, I believe, $24, uh, 25 bucks plus shipping. So not a huge turnaround, but lacrosse season is well on its way, and um, I tried to undercut everybody else. They usually sell for about $30, $35, and I wanted this to move, and it did. So, um, uh, Cascade is the most popular brand where I am right now. Um, the color doesn't really matter a whole lot. Usually white does a lot better. Um, black does okay. And then also you've got um, the adjustment back here. Most of these helmets don't have the adjustment because this can go from like a small to a large just with this. But usually you can tell the sizes um, under here. There'll be stickers under the, the face mask. But yeah, quick flip. Next are some Sorel uh, winter boots. Sorel does pretty well. I don't find them very often around here anymore like I used to, but um, these are duck boots. They look pretty good. If you want to know what the logo looks like, it's literally just the word Sorel. But uh, I paid five bucks for these at a flea market and got 30 bucks plus shipping. Uh, winter time's coming around, so I figured um, the duck boots are gonna start flying out the shelf. Now, surprisingly, the duck boots didn't sell for a whole lot. Um, Sorel in general is pretty popular, pretty expensive, but we have got a sealed video game here. Now, I'm not particularly sure why this one is so expensive, but I got 100 bucks for this. I paid $5 for it at an Amazon return store. Uh, it is brand new, so, I mean, that act definitely adds a lot of value to it, but even pre-owned, this is like a $30 or $40 game, so, yeah, I'm unsure. But I think this actually is going overseas, which is interesting, so a collector over there probably picked it up. But uh, yeah, five into 100 is not bad. Uh, just for your information, this is Saw 2 Flesh and Blood for the Xbox 360. Uh, I've got a Kindle. Nothing huge here, but I did pay two bucks for this at a flea market. Sold it for 25 free shipping. Kindles in general I like, um, mostly because you can... The reason I like them is because you can modify the heck out of them. Um, so that's why people buy them. I think for the most part, but they're also really cheap reading tablets if you don't want to spend like hundreds of dollars on a um, on a paper white reader or whatever. So um, it's a nice cheap alternative and they're pretty solid. 
Next, I've got these handsets. So I've talked about these before if you've watched my videos, but this is a pretty unique thing to my situation, I believe, and that's kind of what reselling is. It depends on the context of where you are, what you can find, whatever. But um, these particularly, I find handsets at my Goodwill bins all the time. I find probably 10 or 20 of them whenever the tech bins come out. If the tech bins don't come out, I don't find them. But um, they're so, they're light and they're tech. So I'm only paying 49 cents a pound for these. And this is probably, this is probably like a pound and some change. So I paid 50 cents for all three of these, or maybe 75 cents for all three of these. And I sold them for $32 uh, free shipping. At most, I'll probably send these in a flat rate for 760. So I mean, I'm making probably 20, 20 ish dollars profit on something I paid 50 cents for. So these take about a week to two weeks to sell most of the time. Um, what I do is I'll look at what each of them are selling for individually because people buy the individual handsets all the time for their office. You've got older people that still use them. Most, you know, the younger generation doesn't use them anymore, but you've got offices, um, like retail still uses them. So anyway, usually they sell for about $10 a piece, 10 to $15 a piece, the handsets. So I'll just put them all up for like $8 a piece or $9 a piece, depending on what they are. And it makes a lot more sense to them to buy the three of them rather than an individual one. So it's kind of the McDonald's strategy with, uh, you know, well, do you want a large for 10 more cents or do you want a small for 10, you know, 10 less cents? So anyway, uh, this is a Wi-Fi Bluetooth card. So this really is not important at all, but, um, I got this for a dollar uh, at an Amazon store. I looked it up and these actually sold for about 20 bucks, but this didn't sell for some reason. So uh, it's part of my, um, I'm also running, I believe a 30% off or 60% off. This sold for 13 bucks free shipping. So um, I won't talk a lot about this, but just look technology up. You never know. Uh, I sold this. Uh, this is called a Sensi thermostat. I love selling thermostats. They're cheap typically. They sell for a lot of money because they are very expensive in the store. This is the um, uh, ST55 model. This actually has come back to me on two different occasions, which is kind of frustrating. Um, which is weird. I don't know. I don't really know because this has happened three times with separate thermostats. So not just this one. But people get really mad when this is, when this isn't new. I don't understand. So I had the box, I had the bracket, I had all the screws and everything, but it came back twice to me because they were mad that it was open already. I had it as open box, the condition was open box, and it was in the title, and it showed me op you know with the box open, but it got returned twice for that same reason. So I decided just to pull it out of the box and sell it a little bit cheaper just to get it out, but... Um, Kind of frustrating, I don't know. But you find these cheap, sell them. It took two days for this to sell. Um, I don't want to pull all these up because they're all going to fall out, but I had a pack of, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. I had a pack of ten of these sell. I had them listed at 100 bucks. I think they ended up selling around 75, 80. Um, the Hunter brand's pretty solid. They don't sell for a whole lot individually, but if you can get them in a bulk deal and, um, get them all together people will buy them pretty quickly so i paid 15 bucks for all uh, all 10 of them and it'll probably cost probably 10 bucks to ship these so i'm looking at maybe 50 ish in profit at the end of the day after fees and shipping and everything but um yeah pretty solid these are sprinkler heads by the way i don't know if i said that already um sprinkler heads are pretty good even if you find them individually um they're pretty good but yeah just try to find a bunch of them it tends to work out better that way. This is a water filter. If you are not familiar with every drop, this is easily one of the most expensive water filters for residential people, for their fridges, I've ever experienced in my life. These are like $80 in the store. I hate them uh, for myself, but I like to sell them. So I paid a dollar for this uh, at an Amazon return store and I got 35 free shipping. Now this is actually a little sneak peek of another series that I'm running right now that'll come out probably after the Goodwill, but um, I get questions sometimes about how to tell at a return store if the water filter is used. Usually it's pretty easy. Now I've sold hundreds of water filters like this. I've had about a 99% success rate. I've only had one come back um, that they claimed it was used, which 
I couldn't tell if it was or not. Um, but it's worked pretty much every single time. The way you can tell is if you take this little cap off here, if you pull that off and there's water in there, you've got to use water filter. If there's no water in there, you're pretty much good to go. Um, water doesn't disappear in these things. Oftentimes you can see them inside. You can see like moisture, even if they've been sitting for weeks and weeks and weeks, um, you can still pull this off and there'll be water inside. So it's a pretty safe bet. I'm very successful with that method. Like I said, only one time out of hundreds of water filters. So yeah, um, $1 for this, by the way, at an Amazon store, $35 free shipping. Another pair of Sorel shoes. These were a little dirty, uh, so I didn't get quite as much as I should have, but um, these usually sell for about 30 bucks. But uh, I paid probably three to four dollars for these at my bin store, sold them for twenty dollars um, plus shipping. It's pretty cool style. I like them. This is actually more often what the Sorel brand has is that little bear on there. These are Merrells. I've talked about them before. These are walking, hiking, water shoes. The, the style is pretty breathable. You can probably tell here. But um, yeah, I paid five bucks for these at a flea market. I can't remember what I took an offer for. I think it was $30, $30. But yeah, Merrell's pretty solid. Typically you can sell a Merrell shoe anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks pretty easily. And if you've got the, the hiking shoes, so they look more like boots. Um, they're, they're like, their color's brown-ish. You can probably sell them for anywhere from 35 to 40. Um, I've actually sold the pair all the way up to 60 bucks, but those were men's size 12 and they were uh, a more desirable style. But. All right, another Amazon return store item. This is the T6 Pro thermostat. I love thermostats. I actually paid a dollar for this. Oh, I lost the batteries. I actually paid a dollar for this at an Amazon return store and I sold it for $80 free shipping. Um, the model is TH6110AF2004, but basically you see this style and you look for Pro Series. Um, the majority of them sell pretty well. Yeah, thermostats, I keep telling you, just, just look them up. Just do it. Just do it. One that isn't exactly very desirable is uh, this same one that looks exactly the same. <laughs> uh, and it even has Pro Series here. But the model is TH4110U2005. So um, some of these you can tell the model number typically is like 20 characters right here. For Honeywell, they usually start with TH. But um, I did get this at the bin store, so I paid probably not even a quarter for this. And I sold it for 20 bucks free shipping, um, which is fine with me. Uh, so the Rock Band pedal, sold it for 30 bucks free shipping. Um, I actually had the whole set that I picked up in a recent video which had some crazy value to it. I really didn't know. Um, it was the Xbox One version, which apparently sells for like 400 bucks complete. I did not know that. But the only thing that was missing were um, the little poles that hold the legs up. So um, I decided to sell them all separately. And this was the first one to go, the pedal for $30. Uh, the pedals just sell quickly because they actually work for all the systems. Um, not so if it's Xbox one and it comes with the Xbox one set you can use it for the 360 the PlayStation the PS4 whatever that's why they sell so fast but I actually paid 10 bucks for the whole set so if we want to break it down into listings I had three separate listings um, so what is that three six I mean basically three bucks I paid for that uh, next is a camera lens that actually was given to me by my dad he found this at an Amazon return store which is insane um, he paid, I think, probably 5 to $7 for this. This is a Tonica. Um, it's a huge lens, which you can tell. I'm not sure if there's any photographers or anything that are watching this, but um, this is the uh, ATX Pro DX, and it is 14 to 20 millimeter F2 uh, aspherical. I don't know what any of that means, but um, these were actually selling anywhere from 3 to 350 but this sat for a long time. I had it priced lower than everybody, uh, it might just, I might have been unlucky, but it was part of my sale. That's why I got 200 bucks free shipping for it. Um, I sold this Game Genie for the NES. This is Galoob. Um, not much money here. Uh, I paid like seven bucks for it. I sold it for 20 bucks free shipping, but I mostly was trying to get a deal done with um, another game and we settled on a price and I ended up paying a little bit more for this. Nothing much here. This is a garage, uh, smart garage opener. These used to sell 30 bucks a piece, 
um, but they've come way, way, way down. I paid a dollar for this, sold for 20 bucks free shipping. In case you wanna know what it is, this is the Chamberlain garage door opener. Um, this is the Amazon one, so people who get deliveries, the Amazon drivers can open their garage, which I think is kind of weird, but yeah, 20 bucks. Um, this is a Residio gas thermostat. Literally, I have no idea what this is. Um, but I got this in a bundle deal for 20 bucks. Um, already in the profit. It, I got like six other items with it, and I've already sold three of those. So this sold for... Um, believe $90 free shipping. So we'll profit probably seven, maybe maybe 60 bucks, 60, maybe 70 after everything's said and done. Yeah, so uh, Residio is actually Honeywell. It's weird, I'm not sure if they acquired this company or if they just go by a different name for this specific item, but um, yeah. The only reason I looked this up is because I saw this, I knew it was a thermostat, and um, I have talked enough about thermostats. Just look them up, please, please. Or don't, maybe, so then I can get them, but yeah. Moving right along, um, I actually have two of these. These are brand new. Um, Midland, like little mini uh, CB radios or whatever. This is a two-way radio. Um, I, this is one of the instances where I think finding them used might have been better. I probably should have just taken them out of the box and sold them as used, to be honest with you. Because used, these were selling like 140 a piece. So when I got them brand new, I was like, I was like, oh, I can get 200 bucks a piece for these easy. But I paid 50 bucks each for these things, I believe. Um, so 100 bucks all in, and I sold them for, I believe, 250. So I think we, uh, these are going overseas as well. They're going to Europe. Um, I think we agreed on like uh, 250 or something like that, so 125 a piece. So I basically doubled my money, maybe you know one and a half did after fees and everything. But uh, yeah, so Midland, great. I've talked about them before. Mini CB radios are great, and then CB radios in general, just check them out. A uh, little bread and butter thing here. This is Pet Safe. This is a little dog collar. I'm not gonna take it out. I have to. I have it all wrapped up in there. But this is the paws away. This is definitely the cheaper of the dog collars. Um, this one, a little barrier you can put on like the counter or something, and then it kind of buzzes the dog. It doesn't shock them or anything. But 30 bucks. 30 bucks free shipping. And I paid a dollar for this at an Amazon store. So, yeah. Uh, nothing crazy here. I paid a few bucks for P90X. Uh, usually I get these at the bins for like 50 cents to a dollar. They always sell around 15 to 20 bucks. Um, not much to say here. I would say be careful. A lot of these are counterfeit. At least people say that they can be counterfeit, but um, just look at the picture quality. You know, if it looks kind of blurry or like hazy, then it's probably just been been ripped off by somebody. But anyway, 15 bucks free shipping. Uh, this is probably the least replicable thing ever. Uh, this is Wowee. This is, a, a, I guess, a charger for a kid's toy. I looked this up um, from the Amazon bins, and, I mean, it was selling like 20 bucks uh, for the charger, which I, like blew my mind. It sold about once a month, so I thought I'd be sitting on this for a while, but it only took a week or two weeks to sell, I should say. Um, probably paid anywhere from a quarter, probably a quarter to 50 cents. Well... Maybe a dollar. No, 50 cents. 49 cents a pound. This is a pound, so 50 cents. And turn it into 20. And I got another thing at uh, on Dollar Day at an Amazon store. This is a Leviton smart plug. These don't typically do as well um, as they used to. Uh, the only reason this sold for, I think it was like 19 bucks free shipping, is it is a dimmer. Um, I would say just check most smart uh, smart plugs, dimmers, switches, outlets, whatever, because I make a killing on these things. They're returned all the time. All the time. Because people didn't like them, they didn't know how to use them, whatever. I've sold probably 100, maybe even 150 of this type of thing, outlet, plug, whatever. They've all been opened, they've all been used. 
I've never had one come back. Actually, that's a lie. I've had two come back, uh, and they were the same brand. So um, it might just be something with that that particular brand. Anyway, these things are great. Um, another Goodwill Benz pickup. This is a Cabela Xbox gun. Um, these don't sell for quite as much as they used to. I still got 20 bucks free shipping for this, but um, probably paid a dollar for it at the Benz. Now, if you have the game for it, Cabela's Big Hunter or whatever, you can probably get 30 or 40 bucks for it most of the time. But if I had waited for Christmas, I probably could have gotten a little bit more, but um, I don't like waiting around here. I'm, I, I like selling stuff, so. All right, some clothing just to power through. This is another Harley Davidson shirt. I'll put the picture up. Um, I believe I got like 17 or 18 dollars for this. Some Patagonia. Uh, these are kind of like swim shorts, boardies, whatever you call them. Um, I only got 25 for them, free shipping, but I paid like two bucks for them. I think bathing suits are about two dollars in my Goodwill. This is another Goodwill um, a series item. This is an LL Bean. It's from like the 80s, I think. It's like an Aztec style of a windbreaker, but I got um, $29.99 free shipping, so this will probably go for like five bucks, probably 18, 20 bucks after everything's said and done. This is a men's Untuck It shirt. That's the brand to look for. These used to sell almost instantly. I'm not really sure why this, this sat for like a month. Um, I took a, actually this was part of the sale that I'm running. So I think I got maybe 18 or 20 bucks for it. I only paid a couple dollars for it, but like I said, I'm really surprised that this took so long to sell. You know, the brand could just be going downhill or maybe it wasn't the right season, but I don't know. This is a Wrangler Aztec looking pearl snap button down. Uh, if you're not familiar with pearl snaps, this is what you're looking for, this like kind of shimmery snap. It's literally a snap button. Wrangler obviously is the go-to brand. The funkier the design, the better. And usually if you're able to find a lot of them, like uh, I don't know if I ever put it in a video, but I got uh, probably about like a hundred of them from an estate sale once. I think I paid like almost 75 cents a piece for them. And I bundled essentially every single one I bundled together. So all the same sizes, the smalls, the mediums, the XLs, um, the same brands, and then even the miscellaneous ones I put together. I sold every single one of them within like three weeks. I probably made 500 bucks on that, which was insane. But yeah, Pearl Snaps are good. They're always going to be good. There's hundreds and hundreds of them, but they still sell every single day. Um, these, again, are another thing that I'm surprised at. It probably was the size or the style. These are Lulu leggings. They are short. They're a small, they're like an extra small, and they don't go all the way down the leg. They kind of go to like right below the knee. So it's probably the reason they sat for so long. I had them priced very, very cheap, but nobody ever bought them, and I put them on sale, and they both sold. So I think I got like eight bucks for this one, 13 for this one, or vice versa, I don't know. But the same person bought both of them, so I'm happy to see them go, because I only paid probably two or three bucks a piece for them at a yard sale. Uh, got a Hornets jersey here. Number two. Uh, this is probably hard to find for you, because this I live in Charlotte. This is where the Hornets are. But I paid a couple bucks for that at a yard sale and got uh, $21 free shipping for that. And finally, a Harley Davidson 100% silk shirt. This is a really pretty shirt. I kind of wanted to keep it, to be honest. Um, it's got these like little motorcycle designs on there. Uh, obviously, 100% silk of a name brand is going to do very well in general. Um, I actually paid 10 bucks for this. And it sold for 28 free shipping, so not a huge turnaround. I, I guess I just didn't get the right timing. I listed it a little bit after summer. Um, it was kind of kind of starting to get chilly around here, so I might have just missed it. Missed the timing, unfortunately. But um, when I picked them up, those were selling for probably 40 bucks a piece. So keep an eye out for those.
Next, we have got a Top Flight Driver. This is certainly not a desirable brand by any means. Um, I just, and I don't really know much about golf either. Now there are some brands that everyone should know. So there are some brands that people should know particularly. Um, there's a couple of Grail, like putters, like um, Scotty, uh, yeah, Scotty Cameron. Um, you've got other clubs like TaylorMade, Ping, Adams. Um, there's a few others that are pretty solid. Like I said, I don't know, but I always look up the drivers and I always look up the putters if I find them. And they, you know, it's a brand I don't know or if they look fancy or whatever. Um, one thing I can say is drivers are, they've got this big, big, they take up a lot of space here. Now, if you see like a little, there's like a little circle thing right here and it's got like an adjustable weight on it, probably guaranteed to be like a 40 plus club. I think those are, I don't really know the full details about those things, but I'm assuming it adjusts the loft or the, the weight or whatever. It affects the swing in some type of way. Uh, but as a non-golfer and a reseller, just that's something you should look out for. I think that wraps up um, the bulk of the good items. There's probably, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven not so great items. So thank you all for being here. Um, I will put up the total amount of shipping that I paid because I realized I didn't do that in the last video. The total amount of shipping and total profit I'll put right here. Um, this was for Friday to um, basically this morning, Monday, so seven o'clock on a Monday. Um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. See you guys next time.